In this video, we are going to see how to merge multiple PDF files into one PDF file using Cloud Convert. So basically, let's say that you have got certain URLs in your Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet. Now you want to merge all those files using Cloud Convert, which is an online file conversion platform. You can do the same and then update the same Google Sheet with the merged file URL. How can you do this? For this, you will have to set up some integration between Cloud Convert and Google Sheets. And the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So every time a new load is added with some URLs, with some links, then automatically it is going to merge all those files and then update the cell value. Now, how can you do this yourself? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pably.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all apps page. Let's click on access now for Pably Connect. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application on the right hand side. Again, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to merge multiple PDF files into one PDF file. So basically, let's say that I have got certain URLs in my Google Sheet. Now, what do I want that all these separate PDF files that I have, I want to merge them into one single PDF file with the help of Cloud Convert. So I'm going to name this as merge multiple PDF files into one single PDF file. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. Why? Because I've got certain data in my Google Sheet. So and the trigger event here would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now this trigger event will make my workflow run and here you can see that it is showing that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So now as I come down here you can see there is a webhook URL that we have received. This is basically going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets with Pably Connect so that Pably Connect can have access to the information. So now I'm going to copy this and we have to follow the following steps to set up this connection. So I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet that I have created. So this is my Google Sheet. The name of the spreadsheet is Cloud Convert Files and the name of the sheet is Merge. I've got the following column fields, name, file one, file two, and here I'm going to update my cell value with the merged file. Now to set up this connection, we have to go to extensions. Then we have to go to add-ons, get add-ons. Here we have reached the Google Workspace Marketplace. I'm going to look for Pably Connect webhooks. Let's click on this. And here you can see that this particular app is already installed on my system. So you have to make sure that this is installed. And once you have installed this, you have to refresh the page. It is a must. So once you have done that, we are going to go back to extensions. Now we can see that Public Connect webhooks is appearing here. So we have to go to initial setup. Also remember the set on event has to be checked. Why? Because then only every time new data has been received, so it would be able to run this workflow. So I'm going to go to initial setup. And here you can see that it has already selected the sheet. Now it is asking me for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So when I take you back to Pably Connect, this is the webhook URL. I'm going to copy this once again, go back here and paste it. Now the trigger column. So this is the final data column on which the data is added. For our file, it is column C. Why? Because this is blank. So this is our final data column. So I'm going to write C here and now send test. So as I do that here, we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Let's click on submit. So again, it is saying that the setup has been con configured successfully. Going back to Pably Connect, 
Here we can see that we have received the API response and we have received the name of our spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, then we have also the row index and here we have the name and then the two files. So now that we have received this, we are supposed to merge this into one single file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. First, I'm going to show you these files. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and paste this over here. So here you can see this is mesmerizing Kerala. So this is a brochure. Again, if I take you back, let me show you the second file. So I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab. And here this is Shimla, Kufri, Kullu, Manali. So these are two different brochures and I want to merge them, right? So going back to Pavli Connect, I'm going to choose my next application as Cloud Convert. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to merge files to PDF. Let's click on this and click on Connect. Again here Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Cloud Convert account. So to set up this connection, I'm going to select add new connection and then click on connect with cloud convert so i've already logged into my cloud convert account and here we can see that the authorization has been successful now here we have to provide the line item basically the urls i need to map this data mapping basically means that i already have received this data in my previous step i'm just going to retrieve the data here why is mapping important? Because if I write this URL manually over here, then every time, even when new data is there, my workflow is only going to take the manually written data. That is why mapping is important so that the new data can be taken into account. So here I'm going to click, go to step one, and then this is the file. I'll put a comma over here, and then again I'm going to go here and select the file one. So once this is done, let's map the line item task name. So basically here I can simply write, I've got two files, so I'm going to write F1, then I'll put a comma and I'll write F2. So you have to make sure that these numbers are exactly the same as the number of URLs. Now the output format, I want it in PDF format and the file name. So I'm again going to map this information, go to step one. This is my file name, travel brochures. Now remember that you have to write the name of your file along with the extension. So I'm going to write .pdf over here. So once done, then the tag. So if you want, you can provide any tag. I'm going to write travel brochure 101. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So once done, here we have received our API response. So here you can see that we have received the URLs. If I take you down, here we have received the job ID. Now it is saying that the status is still waiting. Basically, it is taking some time to receive the response. So now to get the job details, I am going to first put another action application, which is a feature by Pabli. This is known as delay. So I'm going to delay my workflow for five minutes. So let's say it is five so here we can see that how much delay do you want to put in your workflow i'm going to say delay for minutes how many minutes five minutes so that the time that it is taking here to retrieve the data it can take the entire data and then it can come to the next step so if i take you down i'm going to click on save and send test request and here we can see that yes our workflow has been successfully delayed for five minutes now once this is done i'm again going to choose the same application cloud convert and here i'm going to look for job details so get job details let's click on connect why because in the previous step we did not find the job details i'm going to continue with the existing connection now here i have to map the job id so let's click on this go to step two and i'm going to write id over here so here you can see that this is my job id let's click on this and now click on save and send test request. So as soon as we do that, here we can say that the data is finished. The, this is the created time. Then we have the, again the job ID. And as I take you down, this is the result file name, travelbrochures.pdf. And this is my merged file URL. Data task zero result files URL. This is my merged file URL. So I'm going to copy this and show you Let's copy this, open this in a new tab. 
Okay, let me show you this. So here you can see these two files, the two separate files are now merged into a single file. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now going back to Pabli Connect, here my next action step would be I want to update my Google Sheet with this link. So I'm going to again choose the application Google Sheets and here the action event would be to update cell value. So I'm going to go down here it is update cell value. Let's click on connect. So again here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Let's click on save. So once done here we have to select the spreadsheet. Basically we have to map the data. So I'm going to show you the spreadsheet which is cloud convert files. We already know this. So now I'm going to go back to public connect and look for cloud convert files. Here it is. So the system has automatically selected the sheet and now the range. So basically if I take you back to the Google sheet, I want this particular information to be fed here. So this is D column. So I'm going to now go back to public connect and here I'm going to write D and now the range. So basically this is the row index. So here I'm going to go to step one and this is the row index two. Okay, so this is my range. Now what is the value that I wish to put in here? So I'm going to click on this, go to step four and I'm going to look for the URL that we have just received. Here it is and click on save and send test request. So now if I take you back to my Google Sheet, yes, you can see that we have received the URLs right here, which basically means that this integration process is a success. Now, I have to check this in real time, which means that if I feed some other information, so let's say, so let's say that we have entered some more URLs. The name is general brochures. Now, as soon as we have entered this, what should happen? Automatically, the file should get merged and should be displayed here. And here you can see that yes, we have received the merged file. Now I'm going to show this merged file to you. So here it is. And yes, you can see that these two files have been merged, which basically means that this entire integration process is a success. Now taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly check what we have done. So here our trigger application was Google Sheets, where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. The action application was Cloud Convert, where the event was merge files to PDF. Then we had chosen a feature by Pabli, which is delay so that the data can be captured completely. So we had delayed our workflow for five minutes. Again, we had chosen the action application as cloud convert. The event was get job details and the final action application was Google Sheets where the event was to update cell value. I hope this is extremely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. So if in case you have some particular integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.